Welcome to Capgemini Invent Talks. The world population is expected to grow by 2 billion in the next 25 years and could peak at 11 billion in 2100. Food demand is increasing tremendously. So what is the future of food? And how can we make sure that we can feed our population without destroying our environment? I'm here with our experts, Jochem and Kees, uh, from the consumer product and retail practice. Um, and Jochem, I'm curious to see, what is the Food for a Better World initiative? Well, thank you, Stefan. Food for a Better World uh, is our strategic initiative where we want to embark together with our clients on really making a contribution to society when it comes to feeding the world. Because, as you rightfully said, um, with the ever-growing world population, the demand on the food supply is tremendous and it's increasing rapidly. And we all know we can't continue the way we, uh, we are doing today. We are depleting our world and um, really changes are unavoidable. So we'll work with uh, our clients, actors in the food value chain, and this is all starting from you know, farmers, agricultural companies, FMCG companies, retailers, so really from farm to fork, to collectively uh, uh, start to move the, the needle, because uh, changes are unavoidable, we need to start acting now. But it's not just actors in the food value chain, also us as consumers, we really need to, uh, to change. We need to change our behavior and our habits. For example, we need to start eating less meat and get our proteins from other sources than animals, plants for example. We need to buy more sustainable products, you know, with less packaging or less plastic, uh, circular uh, products. And most importantly, we need to really put an end to food waste. So Capgemini recently uh, issued uh, the global uh, research on food waste. And it's astonishing if you, uh, if you know that one third of all the food that's being produced in the world today eventually gets wasted. One third, think about that, that's ridiculous. And 50% of that actually takes place in consumer households. And that is something that we can influence. So we as consumers need to change as well. And it's really a collective effort to change and put an end to it. Yeah, and, and there's clear pressure also from consumers and from society. Um, in our What Matters to uh, Consumers uh, report, we found that in Netherlands, 58% of consumers are not satisfied with the efforts of retailers and brands. When it comes to purpose and, and sustainability, they think they need to do more. And of course, we do see that it's picked up. It's in corporate strategies, there are strong commitments. But at the same time, we also see that actual progression is insufficient. We see a lot of innovation, but is there enough disruptive innovation? And can the industry scale beyond pilots and have value at, a, at, at large scale, at society uh, level? We see that companies are, are struggling, and not only uh, themselves, but also in their dependency on other entities in the value chain. They depend on each other. You as a retailer or as a brand or as a farmer can do the right things. If the others don't, ultimately the impact will be less. So that's a big opportunity. There's so much synergetic impact when companies come together, collaborate and innovate uh, in, in a different manner. But it's important that companies go beyond talking the talk and go into walking the walk or even run the run. And this is exactly where our focus is um, um, in helping the food value chain and society at large. So you're talking about creating an ecosystem and also creating synergies within that. What is really the role of, of Capgemini within that? Well, we'll help to uh, work with our clients and really make a strategy become concrete. So there's actually three domains where we want to work uh, together with our clients on, which is uh, green operations and sustainable supply chain, but also energy efficient uh, production, those kind of topics. Um, also on the area of sustainable products, so really making products more sustainable. Uh, and finally, also work with our clients to try to influence the consumer behavior, so really make consumers more loyal to sustainable solutions and to also make them buy healthier baskets, uh, things like that. So it's, it's, it's all those three domains, and then supported by data analytics, which is an area where we are particularly good at, and, uh, and technolo technological innovations, which is also what we, uh, what we are good at. And finally, sustainability gets more and more strict, so it's not a free lunch anymore, so our clients also need to start reporting on it, and that's also a, a domain where we can certainly support. So we see that as Capgemini, we have the right a mix um, of helping the ecosystem uh, to, to, to come together and drive innovation and impact at scale. With our innovation and change 
capabilities, with our engineering capabilities, with our technology and data capabilities and our business services, uh, together uh, with our ecosystem, that's where the synergetic impact uh, will be made. And we focus on um, combining purpose with performance. It's not either or, it's and, and. And we see so many proofs of that already um, that we want to elevate at, at the next level. Our focus is to uh, walk the walk and run the run rather than talk the talk. It's about execution. Sustainability is the core of uh, Cape Gemini's strategy. Uh, our people are passionate for purpose. Um, so we will roll up our sleeves and get, uh, get to work. That's actually a quote of a CEO of a big food company, right? Uh, walk to walk and not actually, talk to talk. Actually, it is Alan Jope of Unilever who is, who is clearly saying, we as an industry need to walk the walk before we talk the talk. And the opposite is often happening. Yeah, and as an as a independent professional services firm, we can actually really take our role and connect actors in the food value chain and in the ecosystem together. So collectively, we can actually move the needle significantly. And that's where we make our contribution. So it's clear that organizations have a pivotal role in order to get concrete actions going and obviously also achieve concrete results. So thank you for joining me today. Um, thank you for watching Capgemini Event Talks and hope to see you next time. <music>